I, I think my biggest problem. What what is tembo? What is that even supposed to mean? Like what is what is that a riff on? I don't I don't get the joke. Uh, like tempo music or something. I don't know. Yeah, but this game isn't musical in the slightest. I, it's, uh, it, I don't think it's supposed to be anything. I don't know. It sounds like it should be a pun, but it's not. I don't know. Do you think this is what a, a deer getting caught in the headlights would feel? Staring at that corner right there. So, by the way, folks, get used to that. This, this is a fucking loading screen. Yeah. Count with us. We, we were talking about this, and... Um, Especially when it's on uh, a, console, a console you get these days. Um, you know, I'm not a developer, but these are really long loading screens. It, it's a pretty. It's over a minute, man. It's over. For what it is, I mean, like it's a uh, it's a 2D side scrolling platform. Uh, granted, there are effects in it, and you know, it, it looks really smooth. And it, it's not like you could play it on the GameCube or anything. So it does need a little bit of tech behind it. But I don't see why, with a machine this powerful, you have a minute-long loading screen for Tempo the Badass Elephant. I don't even care if you're Phantom Pain. Anything after 40 seconds, and I want a fucking apology after it's all done. Like, I if think you want with Phantom scream, Pain, you can give it a little bit of leeway. Just anything anything after this. The, like At this point, I want an apology. I want a compliment about my hair. I... I have demands that uh, I have rightfully You really urged. don't like this game, and I have no idea why you don't. Well, we'll get into it. I, okay, I, that's not it. I want to like it. Jesus, there we go. Oh, is that the reason? I the want to like it. Unity? Just fucking, yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot going on that just really, it, it's, it's a lot of good ideas that that aren't fleshed out very well but i mean i want to like it yeah that's me so anyway this is play play uh and we've got stevie on board with us so it's me and stevie rocking out to the the fine fine swing and swam jams of this really ambitious game <laughs> and, and that that's me doing my best to compliment it we're playing one of the uh last levels of the very first zone quote unquote or world so, you did, I, I I will say, Stevie, I'm surprised you, like, well, you, I think you were mentioning that you did dig the art style. It's very, I don't know, French, in a sense. Like, it really reminds me of, like, Marsupilami and Tintin. I got no idea what you mean by that, because they're kind of uh, cel-shaded 3D backgrounds. What, I, what it reminded me of was the art style to Mighty Number no. 9, the new screenshots that came out of it. Um, just the way uh, the... the that the two that the planes are the background details and stuff <laughs> i don't know how to describe it they just look similar um so already already screwed up here I, I think my my issue here is the fact that there's a lot of functions that the game like has you manage but they're they're all done off of like one but in fact we're just going to restart just because I also have to show you this grizzled ass, like, mmm, mmm, that, get it that It has a lot of personality, I'll give it that. Before you get into any of the mechanical details, I do like it visually. As I said um, to you before we started this video, uh, it reminds me a lot of the art style for Hell Yeah, Wrath of the Dead Rabbit. Um, and I think that it reminds me of that as well, because that was a Sega game, and I think this is one of Sega's smaller projects. So I like that they're doing these types of games, and they have a very um, similar feel to them. So it reminds me of that. We've got Walter White, just chilling, running on Tembo. He's super he's super stoked. Look at him. Yeah! He's doing the wiggle wiggle. Um, but yeah, I I think mechanically, like it has a lot of good ideas in the fact that like it, it essentially designs and orchestrates like this like these little runways and set pieces as you can see to where you're constantly trying to uh move or just stay in motion um and, and there are times where you have to also stop and observe the environment kind of get a feel for it to see whether or not that would be the uh best decision to come across and as you can see, you're noticing I'm doing these sweet, like, uppercuts, these butt slams, these, like, fucking straight Street Fighter 2 you're being badass. Goals. 
Yeah, exactly. But this is all mapped to like one fucking button. Like, with just various uh, fucking motions or uh, inputs being done to di differentiate, like, which which one you do. And, like, it's that's a little much, considering that, like, you know, all modern controllers have an assortment, an array of buttons, if you will, that where you're going to assign different movements or different things. To do it all off of one button, just... Oh man, it bugs me. It bugs me to no end. So do you think the problem like have you beaten this game yet or I, I have. I'm I'm showcasing like the difficulty curve like just like cuz I'm just thinking you've got a lot of powers here and stuff like that. Is it not just the case that the game introduces all of these too early and that it if it like built it over the course of the game it would feel like you're earning these powers and you weren't just being dumped with them all at once. Was that the no, case? No, you actually... It, okay, so what it does is you do get them all at once. I don't... There's no other power that really comes to play. They kind of Mario Brothers it in a way where they just find new ways to uh, essentially introduce, like, ways that you can work out or mess with the mechanics. So like that right there. I should have been able to make that jump, but because I was running... Uh, against the current of a conveyor belt, it kind of stifled me in a bit, and then bam. See, like, the difficulty curve just fucking jumps. I chose this level specifically, as you can see, I have a, I have a nice little stock of fucking, mmm, some of them, some of them PB jars. P, PB! Uh, get that J shit out of here. Um, but it, it, the game doesn't leave you with, like, from this point on, especially for like any of those people who are completionists at heart, it doesn't leave for a lot of room for error. It, it, it just it immediately expects you to get a hold of its physics and its system, and it's not that intuitive. Quite the opposite. Yeah. So I guess if this game introduced it slowly, then you might have liked it a bit more. Uh, I would have, and even then, they're also... There are a lot of moments where the game does repeat itself and the stages just drag on. Like, they... I... I okay. I always have, like, this really weird uh, criticism when it comes to, like, stage length in side-scrollers. Like, I, like, something too short just kind of feels, like, on the level of, like, you know, happy, if that, gets, if that makes any sense. Like, something that's just... Uh, so little... what's your sort of dream size for a platformer level like Mega Man sized or Mario yeah. Brothers? I would I would say Mega Man 3 because Mega Man 2 is even like just tilting on like too short because like at, at, at some point like there are games that are just empty calories this is the exact opposite this game serves you like a fucking five course meal within each little segment and it, it kind of burns itself it's just, out. It's just that the the waiter is force feeding you a uh, turkey leg every two seconds. He's giving you it all at once, so you don't get a chance to enjoy it. Right, and even then, like for example, here I got a little overzealous, so I can't save. I can't save that little hostage there. I'm just gonna have to move on. There's absolutely uh, no turn on, and I get that. Like you know, that's part of the fun. That's the challenge. But you know, there are moments to where they're collecting like the various things that are available for you to seek out and investigate uh do play a role in what you unlock to play later which i mean that's that's standard for like any uh side scroller it's just here though i don't know i think it's a bit shady but like you know like moments like this when like it's it's a little bit more seamless and like you're given a little bit more wiggle room to play around, and then I enjoy it. I don't know. It's not a bad game. It's just... I, I will really say that flawed. Tempo does stick out to all the other 3D-like objects. Well, yeah, and especially, like, they, they do put a lot of detail into the hostages that you, that, like, you have on his back, like, and they all each, like, display this, like, fucking personality, uh, as well as just add a bit of, uh color to everything but yeah man just sometimes this goddamn game is a little too unforgiving for my tastes i don't know um and even then like I, uh, you it, it's it's kind of like 
I don't know, I guess the same shitty critique you can make on uh, Sonic, except Sonic just does it way better. To hear that people... Like, I've, I've, I've heard people talk about this game where it refines, like, familiar, like, Sonic elements, and I'm like, what fucking planet do you live on? Like... I will say that this part of the level is very slow. It involves you literally having to stand still and plot where the ball's going to go, then rush to it. This doesn't keep up any momentum at all. Um, no, but there are other mo like, the, you're just from, like, movement and abilities alone, you kind of have, like, this impetus, like, fucking, you know, go, go fast. So... Yeah. Especially when you're a badass elephant. Right. Oh, man, you really you really enjoy how badass he is. And see, like... This I, I love how badass he is. So, and, like, see that move that I just did there that I t completely forgot about? That's something that I just found out on the fly. So, you notice that he sprays water. You can combine the spraying of the water with the um, the rush, and it'll act just like, you know, uh, the way you would normally just sit and spray water. Um, which, again, helps keep the momentum going. But then, even, even this, man, just making that jump, there's almost like a delay for the input. God I will damn it. say, Sonic games, the good Sonic games, don't lock you in a room until you defeat all the bad guys. No, this game does do that, like, quite a bit. And, and it's weird, too, because, like, the jumping mechanics are strange. Like, there's no vertical base to the jumps. And they're, a, they're weirdly way too momentum focused. But, like, there's, I don't know, there's not a lot of leeway. And then, like, your only vertical means of, like, moving forward is, like, the fucking Yoshi's Island ass, Yoshi Island flutter jump. Like, this fucking level alone, man, I've already dropped, like, five fucking PB deuces. Yeah, I know it's the Yoshi's Island jump, and that works well in Yoshi's Island because they designed the level around that, but it doesn't really seem like making careful jumps like you would in Yoshi's Island is really conducive to what this game seems to want is to have you be speeding along. If you yeah. want to be speeding along, you don't need a Yoshi jump. Yeah, and you, you can't even that. combine the Yoshi jump with like uh, like the rush jump or anything. You you have to choose. It's either that or the other. Um, but I don't know. But yeah, in terms of style and art, I, I would definitely say that this game, that that's one of its highlights. Like, there's definitely... Uh, and, and honestly, that's thanks in part to, like, Game Freak. Game Freak does a really good job. But see, it's just weird, though. Like, you can tell that they had, like, a clear design. Like, there's this very, very inherent quality to, like, what you are supposed to do and with the physics that you're supposed to ingratiate yourself with and slowly, like, acclimate. Uh, like how you do things there there there's like this clear intention which is the execution of it is just really it's just poop from a butt i don't know and like it's weird this is coming from the same people who gave us like fucking pulse man and drill dozer you know I'm trying to figure out where else poop would come from other than a butt well i mean there there are like components of uh poop in, and matter uh, that could be found in feces and, and other excrement and waste uh, within the human body. I mean, they aren't technically, you know, the poop poop, but they are. Um, they have been known to, uh, you know, be like poop from the ears, maybe. Something to that effect. All right, hey man, it was a stretch. You leave, you leave my poop from a butt alone. Okay. So like here, for example, all right. Cool, take out that platform. It's oh, quite shit. Angry Birds-esque, this reminds me of. Yeah. Especially of how far back the screen is. This is this is very true, and uh, also, uh, within the same breath, it, uh, Angry Birds is a, at least a little bit... Even if it finds a way to uh, telegraph what it is and still be clever, this is just dumb. Like, I immediately I'm like, oh good, I can't do fucking anything. That's okay. I'll leave, and then go back, and see. I, I want to get like all the nice things uh, that the level has to offer. So, I I do have to play ball and kind of slow down the action a little bit. Use my noggin, which I'm cool with. I'm I'm fine. There's no beef. But man, that could have just been done a lot smoother. And then uh, this cock. 
Anyway, got him. This level care of. does seem to be going on for a long time. Dude, it's all the levels. It's all the levels are like this. And oh, good. So I can't get down there. Do do you see? Do you see my like issue with this? The only way to get down there is a butt slam through it. But then there's another panel directly above it. I can't. I can't stop myself mid mid fucking butt slam. Get, get my fucking posterior in order. So. Uh, you essentially, you shouldn't be greedy. You shouldn't want to want to get the shiny things. Yeah, that I worked for, the thing that like the 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 fucking the mere purpose. So here's the thing, it's it's not until I realize that like I'm just gonna have to fucking you know, I, I, I try and I try and I realize okay, this is a uh, this is not gonna be an arrangement that works. So, at some point, and and. I, you know, all I could really do is just get frustrated, realize that I have to leave, and then hope that like I don't have to do that again. But dude, check this out, Stevie. Oh God! I had to leave. <laughs> I had to leave. The game realized like, oh yeah, there's no way you could have done this all in one go. You have to realize like, ah oh, shit, he's got to leave and set up the whole new fucking shimmy sham again, man. And look, now I'm fucking stuck. Dude. You just shouldn't be tempted. It's a lesson. Just take this as a lesson, George, in greed. You wouldn't be trapped between these pillars if it weren't for your love of shiny objects, of shiny extra things, of hostages. Yeah, you know, because that's not important, because I'm not a fucking private militarized elephant that was sent to, like, essentially debunk the fucking terrorist activities of like this crazy fucking like evil group and organization. No, 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 not by any by any stretch of the imagination, Stevie. But hey man. Appreciate appreciate you being my life coach, dude. Go like, like any extra points. Extra points means being stuck in between two pillars. Isn't that isn't that life in general though? Yes. If, I swear to god if we turn a play play of Tempo the Badass Elephant into an allegory of life, I am holding you responsible. <laughs> I think that's what we've already done. Ah, damn it. Send this to the Dalai Lama. <laughs> I think he'd like this game. He'd be into it. I I don't know, man. I think there there's too much bouncing and too much anger. Um but yeah, all right. So yeah, but he would like it as a sort of stress release. That's yeah, because mean. everything that I've done so far orchestra like shown is, is is that dude it's just very stress relieving i mean there's like oh my god that like it's stress relieving in that the game is relieving all of its stress onto you oh okay i got you i got you just oh just fucking run just run oh. see exactly if you hadn't have gone for that you'd have been fine hey man don't don't judge me on my decision, Stevie. You just don't you just don't want to concede the fact that this game's not that cool. I'm just yeah. Where come on? Where's that bravado now? Do you finish this level in this video? <laughs> I <laughs> Please do. tell me you do. Yes, I do finish the level. Okay, good. It <laughs> whatever, man. The level's really long. Okay, um, but. I digress. Timbo the Badass Elephant is a cornucopia of some pretty cool ideas, neat colors, lots of action. It's kind of thrown in there with, like, no real regard. Yeah, I'm just using up all my water. Fuck, fuck this. Fuck the fire shit. Like, I'm just done. But, see... I know It's just too much on your plate at once. And they stop you whenever you gain momentum. Well, right. I mean, I guess it's... Jesus Christ. That Blanca attack is very helpful, and just at the same time, it sucks. That's the only attack you can do in the air. It's the only one you can do in the air. So you're automatically forced to just fucking launch forward and have, like, no say about it whatsoever. Fuck it, we're done. Just, mm, mm. Just get these Jenga blocks out of the way. At least you're getting a lot of uh, good reward. Yeah, it's a mission accomplished. All those shiny blocks. Yeah, so that one, that one goddamn hostage we missed, but I didn't even get all the baddies. That's another thing. You gotta seek and destroy all the baddies to really get. What's your reward for getting all of them, though? 
who the fuck knows? It's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, this has been Press Pods Radio Play Play, Tim of the Badass Elephant. I wanted to like this more. What about you, Stevie? Um, it looks all right, but now I'm not too keen on it by hearing your uh, opinions because I also haven't heard any other good things about it. So yeah. I'm the victor. There, case closed. You know, this wasn't a competition. This latest play play video from Press Pods Radio was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at www.audibletrial.com slash radio, and you can get access to over 100,000 titles to choose from from your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player.